this morning and we'll get your thoughts on this. Is this gesture automatically offensive or a joke in the right context? A plus does asking people to pray at, say, council meetings breach atheist human rights? I'd like your views, too, on stress junkies. And most important of all, is there a right way to hang a loo roll? That's the right stuff. Welcome to today's Right Stuff. I'm Matthew Wright. It is Tuesday the 4th of May, which everyone knows has been named International Respect for Chickens Day. <laughs> Thank you. For the last five years, chicken activists seriously have done everything from storm the White House to hosting chicken races. Though, judging from this footage, I think it's uh, going to be fair to say it'll be a long time before they catch on here. <laughs> now, we, we at the Bright, the Bright Stuff are proud to be the only British television show to celebrate International Respect for Chickens Day. Uh, the others just don't give a cluck. This is not, <laughs> let me assure you, let me assure you, this is not a paltry attempt to get publicity no! either. <laughs> I've got a serious project for the panel to crack on with. So let's meet them. First up, hot chick Natalie Bingham. <laughs> Hey, you all right? Yeah, very well. And next to her, we have all round good egg, Mr. Steve Burt. Hey. hey! So, I know what they don't know about this at all. All oh. they know is they're going to do a project. So, what can we do to mark International Respect for Chickens Day? Well, I thought a little test could be helpful. So, what I want you to do is to take this bargain bucket of chicken pieces and turn it into one of these a chicken, <laughs> okay? <laughs> You can use... What the take so you're saying just taking the, 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 the bits of the chicken? I'm assuming that in a bargain bucket, right. there must be at least a chicken. Right. N what or you... a rat, maybe. No, you're just going to get a weird kind of foul chimera of a chicken because it's not the... You're not going to get... You're the... spoiling the fun. OK. <laughs> All right, bring it on, bring so, it on. OK. Here's a bucket. You use cocktail sticks that I provided. Right. OK. And you build your chicken and while we meet... And is a competition between us? Can, can I also say, say how many chickens... Uh, poor Natalie's a vegetarian. And you're making a deal. <laughs> you're not going to eat it. You're going to fiddle on with it. Hang on a minute. I didn't complain. <laughs> <laughs> you can be sick. Come right, on. You get on with that. Chocks Let's say hello to our special guest, the brilliant Pauline McLean. Hey! How are you? I'm very well. I, I tell you, I'm wondering what a chimera is. Yeah. Can you do it quietly, um, yeah. by the way? Uh, Thank what's you. What's a chimera? Is it something with lots of legs lots and arms? Of bits yeah. Lots of bits. Yeah. Oh, okay. Odd bits. Now, the father Ted like legend. Show. The father Ted legend has left Craggy Island behind to shack up with the dysfunctional oh, residents of the Chatsworth Estate in Channel 4's hit drama Shameless, and you're playing a Libby. A yes, narcoleptic librarian. librarian, yeah, of course. Um, <laughs> and Frank's latest love interest. I know, he's a, that guy's got away with women, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm just glad to be playing somebody that's vaguely my own age. I am the antithesis of most actors' careers. You know, I've started from, you know, basically old crones, and I'm going back the way. I mean, obviously, there's only so far back I can go. <laughs> uh, but, you know... 16, 17? Uh, hey, now, just, someone told me... <laughs> shut up! Someone told me... Let him fly... The, I'm liking this. Someone he's, he's told me an old lady happy. that Shameless marks the first time in your acting career that you filmed love scenes. Yes, yes, I've never been asked um, to either kiss people or, and I have to say it, it's shameless, so I had to get my kit off at that one point. Um, and uh, I haven't been asked to do it again since, so... Um, <laughs> Did you enjoy it? Did you feel it liberating? Do you know what? I, I didn't... I was, I was really worried about it. Nobody else batted an eyelid. What I did discover, though, and nobody tells you this, is that um, no matter who you are, a man or a woman, we all have a lot more moving parts than we realise. <laughs> you know? Because I was very... Really, I mean, obviously, I was pre pretending to have sex with somebody that, you know... It's, it's not... It, when I'm normally having sex, it's, it's you, Do know, you know, I with somebody just... that I, I know and I'm not really concerned with their moving bits because I'm, you know, like you're moving. doing whatever you do. Um, but I was very conscious about the way things might look. And sure enough, the minute we started, I just thought, oh, God, bits of me are going in, out, in, out. Out, in, out, beyond my, my arms. Okay, and... okay, we'll stop that there. We'll stop that yeah. there and have a look at a clip instead. <laughs> this is the moment that Libby really falls long quite long. literally for the long haired layabout. <laughs> now, fans will be delighted by this. I can barely lift it. This is the seven. DVD box set. Yeah, it's out right on the 17th speed. of May. And, um, I mean, the, the series itself at the moment, Series 7, which is on, I mean, tonight we've got the second last episode, penultimate. I was dying to say that on television. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> You're not the only one with big fancy words. <laughs> uh, second last episode tonight and next week, a total cliffhanger to finish the series. But in the meantime, you needn't miss it because um, you can buy either the series on DVD or the whole lot, one to seven. 
Uh, it's often difficult for you guys to answer this truthfully, but <laughs> are you going to be doing any more? Will, I mean, is there more in, uh, in the I, pipeline? I hope that in the cliffhanger I, I don't die. But, you know, stuff happens in showbiz, what can I tell you? And, and indeed, lots of stuff happens on the Chatsworth. <laughs> I think you'll find most of it, most of it healthy. OK, Natalie, and, sorry. Uh, yes, seven, talk about seven series, but also seven novels. You're an amazing... Uh, actually, six. eight is about eight. to come out, yeah. would you believe, in July, yeah. I don't know how I managed it, but under working on Shameless, um, yeah, I managed... Well, I had three brain cells left, so I used them, <laughs> because you must. And, yeah, I've got a, a novel coming out in uh, July called The Time Is Now. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. They say there's one, one book in all of us, but clearly more than that for you. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, often yeah, they good, say, good leave writer. it in you as well, the book, you know, leave it there. Um, <laughs> but, sadly, I'm now in the habit of... of Issuing them. <laughs> do they sell in Russian? Because you can. Do, is it true you can speak Russian? I've been learning a bit of Russian with uh, with my husband. He's much better at it than I am, and I, I've discovered that the three brain why? cells I had why? left over yeah, after why? the acting, yeah. Um, yeah. I need them for writing. So uh, I've sort of let the Russian slide right. at the moment. I can say Yati Bialublu. Oh, you said, did you tell me you love me? I did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, right back at you. That's English, but oh. more or less. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have trouble. I mean, there's the thing, trying to learn Russian. I have trouble with English still, as, as <laughs> David Beckham once famously said. Um, uh, you know, so it's been, I tell you, it is the sexiest language in the world, and I don't care what he's saying oh. to me as long as it's Russian. Yeah. Nice. You know, it's, you know yeah. often it'll be, um, do we have any Brussels sprouts yeah. to go with that? <laughs> and, you know, even uh, the Brusselska Sproutska, you know, it's sort of... <laughs> Excuse me, excuse what? me. What? We only appear to have one partially assembled chicken, which is, I know, is Natalie's work, because I've been watching it. Team effort. No, look team at my, I'm just, these are, I mean, I'm not saying that this, that this chicken is greasy. My fingers, what we, uh, um, there's only, well, there's only that, one. Natalie, that, yeah. is, that is actually a what? very impressive attempt at building a chicken from a bargain bucket. Yeah. Why, why, why haven't you built one, Steve? Hey. Because we did it together, man. <laughs> it was a combined effort, although there was a plate, there's literally, this, this, this would have been my chicken, that's it. <laughs> it would have been that, and no one wants that, because that's rubbish, that's people it. want this. <laughs> They want this. The whole thing. Really with want with that. lots be of careful, ribs. Be careful, be careful. Now, <laughs> I think, Natalie, you are the winner, as you are the one that produced a finger licking good uh, imitation of a real chicken. Thank you. <laughs> that is the project over with. You may now use your refreshing wipes. Thanks, Thanks so much. Yes. You, get, you get several in a bucket, you know. Now, enough <laughs> flapping around. Time for me to tell you what's happening for the rest of the programme. After the break,